Hello everyone, and welcome to Two Player Tuesday. We're right on time, because time oh is a, a construct, right? <laughs> Am I right, yeah. Jake? We can't be wrong because time and space are the same thing, and here we are now, so this is where we're meant to be. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself. Actually, I really could not have. I think physicists will start quoting us instead of the other way around. I agree. Mm -hmm. That feels right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> hey, how you doing today, Jake Michaels? Really good. Happy Tuesday to you. The wind has finally died down in Los Angeles. Area. Oh my goodness. Power went out yesterday. I heard that. You uh, you weren't dark for too long. Oh, no. I meant not. No. Mm -mm. It was fine. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Honestly, no, kind of prefer when stuff gets crazy. So because... we... Yeah. Because then, you know, you don't, you can throw away all the actual responsibilities you had and just be like, well, power's out. All I can do is sit here with a candle. Because I and, can't write this email now. Yeah. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, mm. Hello to everyone in chat today. So great to have you here. We got some new folks. We got Fraggle Grag and Monty uh, and some, some, and Gasconator. Hello, welcome, first time. Um, and then, hey. Old friends too. Night cat, agents fire, my old emerald life. What's up, everybody? Pantalone, hello, oh, Critter Nation. Hey, Pantalone. So, uh, Becca, I'm playing this very game with um, Andrea, who's a Pantalone, in a different game, and they're destroying me right now. <laughs> like, way, way good at this game. Okay, so, so now I feel like you're hustling me though, because you've been playing. Yeah, I have played one game so far, and I actually haven't even finished it yet, so I don't know if I'm going to win. It seems I'm going to lose, so I don't think I'm hustling you yet until I win one. Okay, well, yeah. I'll try to win. That's my <laughs> intention. Yeah, I haven't even completed one against people, so we'll see. All right, friends, let's go to the table. I stole that from Rodney Smith. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good. I like that. Yeah. yeah. It, it sounds good when I say it, right? Well, Rodney, I'll start quoting you instead of the other way around. Okay. I don't think if you steal someone's <laughs> quote that it, that counts in that way, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, so your view here has most of the screen, it looks like. Um, you can't quite see your resources. So if you can zoom out a little bit on there, that'd be cool. Okay. If not, uh, I'll explain the game as we start out. Uh, Becca and I are, hmm, what are we? I guess we're like merchants, I we're suppose. We're fucking conquerors. We're <laughs> goddamn colonists. I mean, we're, our pieces are called colonists. So yeah. that makes us, you know, worse than colonizers. Well, <laughs> well there's there's nice ways to colonize, but it's like, like Mars, nope. <laughs> colonizing Mars is a nice way of doing it. Cause you know, you're Until not, the you're Martians not, uh, get upset. Well, yes, that that's an exception. Uh, I was operating that sentence in a world where Martians don't exist. But yeah, you're right. If there's another life there, then yeah, we have to be aware of their culture. Yeah. We don't want to colonize that. Yeah. But today we're uh, we having a little bit more of merchant colonists on our hands. Uh, Beck and I are playing a two-player game of Concordia. She's orange and I'm green here. Damn and straight. We, we both begin in Roma with our two colonists, uh, one of which is a land colonist, that a legionnaire looking fellow right there and the uh, sea colonists are those boats. Debonair. We're going to, yeah, <laughs> on our turn, we're going to uh, use one of the seven cards in our hand, play them uh, and use their ability Sorry, to- Sorry, I only have six? What the uh, You actually have two, you have two prefect, prefect cards, as a matter of fact, you probably just can't see them. Or did you go already? No, you're right. Okay, great. Um, we're gonna play one of those cards, take its action, and that's the end of our turn. That's how wonderfully simple a turn is. But as you can tell, there's a little bit more complexity to the game than just that. Uh, go ahead and look at one of those cards real quick, Becca, like Architect or something like that. Architect! Architect says, move your colonists. Uh, you have one movement for each colonist placed on the board. We start with two colonists. Then build in cities adjacent to your colonists. So if we go back to the main screen, we'll see that our colonists can move along these dotted lines here. Uh, the brown dotted lines are for land, the blue are for sea. And any places they are adjacent to in those spaces are where we can build a, uh, a trading post. Uh, a, a, yeah, a trading post. And throughout the game, uh, we'll be building places. Those places will give us uh, resources when they are refreshed by the prefect card, which allows a player to produce in an active province and gain a good from the bonus marker. 
each province here has a good associated with its province marker. You see Italia right there, Becca? I sure do. Next to the name there is a little uh, flag with the iron symbol, which uh, I believe those are called tools in this game. And that would give whoever used the prefect card on Italia province a iron or a tool. But if you have a uh, trading post in any of the cities in Italia, you also get that resource as well. So Heck yeah. Up nicely. So it doesn't necessarily matter the resource on the location. It's more about the province. With what the, whatever card you were talking about. Well, the resource, you will gain the resource from that place. You also, in addition, if you're the person playing the card, you'll also gain the bonus resource. Heck yeah. Ooh, Paula Deming, I believe, rated us. Hi, Paula. Good to see you. Oh, thanks so Good much for there. the raid, Paula. I saw she was in chat. I was just in chat hanging out while we were <laughs> talking. Um, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, well... Yeah, you don't need to learn it. You've already learned the rules. This is more for all the viewers, too. Uh, real quick, we have a couple other cards to go over. A Mercator, I believe is how you pronounce it. That's, this, uh, wait, like a Merkin? Like a merchant, but maybe like old school. Like a Mercator. One who sells Merkins. Got it. <laughs> you got it. Uh, you can take three uh, coins and trade up to two types of goods. Each good has a value. Bricks are three, food are four, tools are five, wine is six and silks are seven. I think I got that name wrong. It's cloth, cloth, that's what it is. Silks look better though. In, Additionally- I'm looking for the little cheat sheet. So if you play in person on your player board, you get the 12 slots where stuff can fit. And yeah. on there, it has the conversion rate. Yeah. Um, on the, you, it's on the Mercator card. card itself. Okay. If that's, what, if that's where you want to reference for. Yeah, got yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Additionally, we have the Diplomat card, which this is a real simple one. It allows you to copy the card your opponent last played. So the card on top of their discard pile. That's handy for if your opponent has a card left in their hand that you've already used on a turn, you wanna be able to use it again without re refreshing towards it. Uh, Senator is a card that allows us to take cards uh, and gain new ones from the, I guess it's a personality row. I'm not sure what it's called. It's the card display. That's what brought on the top right of your menu there, Becca. You'll see a list of cards there. Uh, these are organized uh, by stages, and we can buy these cards using the Senator card, giving us more options on our turn. Now, every time we play a card, it goes into our personal area in front of us, and then it's unusable again. However, the last and seventh card that we're going to show you today is the Tribune. Hold on. Before you... you do, let's talk about the card display. Uh, yeah. The one on the far left is going to be cheapest. And then when you buy yeah. something, everything slides to the left. So there's the cost on the card itself. The cost of the personality card and then there's a cost for where it's sitting so things get cheaper as they slide to the left go yes. on good no great explanation thank you for clarifying that that's a great point and yeah the first stuff is free then there's a little bit of you choose one and then the rest is like uh silks i believe or cloth uh tribune was the last card i was mentioning it's how you actually get all your cards back to be reused in your hand uh when you play tribune you take back all your personality cards and you gain a coin for each card taken in excess of three so if you take more than three cards back, you get a coin for each one beyond that. Yeah, this card is basically uh, re rest and reset my hand, but it's really nice that they give you coins when you do it. Yeah. In addition, you can place one colonist in a starting city for one food and one tools. Now, can we ever just, um, just home rule every time you say the word, just say goddamn colonist? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Place that'll make this goddamn... yeah, that'll make this more appropriate. <laughs> one, one goddamn one colonizer. More goddamn colonists. Uh in a starting city. I believe a starting city is either Roma or alternatively it can be a city you have a trading post in. So you Correct. can spread them out a little bit. Cuz okay. Roma's like if you don't got nothing. Yeah. We're all now, in Roma. <laughs> yeah. When when in Roma um the only other thing to really uh explain to viewers is what is all this for what are the points Why? well we are all trying to gain victory points well because we we're all just games. specks of dust on a floating <laughs> rock and like we gotta pass the time somehow yeah we're just playing on a flat circle um you have to understand that we all get points for each of the cards in our hand each card also is uh associated with a god Whoa. um if you click on I'm the there. victory yeah, great. And you'll see there are a bunch of, oh, you're already way ahead of it. Great. Um, the scoring types uh, include Vesta, which gives us one victory point for every 10 coins we have. Uh, additionally, our oh, unused but goods. But you know what's mean? 
is that if you have like nine leftover, if you have 19 leftover coins, you only get one victory point yeah. instead of two because it's per 10. Yeah. No Additionally, to, to calculate what that 19 would be or if you could get more, your unused goods are also converted to coins based on their value. So you do get that at least. But yeah, it's up to 10. So really, you'd want to use your coins in the game. You don't want to save them because they're not worth much. Um, Jupiter, you receive one victory point for each of your houses in a city that does not produce bricks. So having a lot of outposts, I guess houses are what they're called, houses uh, in a lot of non-bricks uh, cities is great. Uh, Saturnus, which is receive a victory point for each province with at least one of your houses. So having diversity out there and having a lot of different provinces. Mercurius, you receive two victory points for every type of good produced by your houses, excluding salt, which salt's not in this game. That's actually in an expansion. And also Mercurius is a sexual orientation where you're Merc and Curious. <laughs> Shout out to any of you Mercuriophiles out there. I'm uh, just telling you the rules as they No, are I, thank you for, I, you're right. I, I should let you explain your side of the rules. <laughs> Oh, Mars? Dwarim Wildstar beat me to it with Curious About Merfolk. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Well, those, those are probably real. Uh, Mars, you receive two victory points for each of your recruited colonists, so getting a lot of uh, each of your recruited goddamn colonists. And Minerva, you receive a set amount of victory points for each of your houses of a certain type. So Minerva are, can only be bought from the card display up there, and you get three points for that type. So you'll see if we go back to the main menu where it says My Points by hitting back, you'll see that you already have these cards in your hand because each of the cards is already associated with some of those gods. So you already have started with seven points in the game. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm happy with that. Seven's a nice number. <laughs> you, uh, you shouldn't be content with seven. You should try and get more no. because I will be getting more. And my it's not the first player to, to seven. <laughs> yeah, but the, goal, but the victory point for winning is if not it, seven. Okay, <laughs> but if it were... I would have won. <laughs> well, shall I play a card because I'm first player? All right. Yeah, let... In our practice game, the one piece of advice you gave me was play the architect first, but the rule book also explains it first, meaning it's probably logical to do it. So I'm going to move my goddamn colonizers, and uh, because I have two of them, I get two movement total. I can move one of them twice or each of them once, then mm -hmm. build in the things adjacent to it. So I'm orange, so we're going to take this little... Oh, I got to play the card first. <laughs> 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 all right so here we are in roma we like it here oh my gosh so many places to go um but uh, we can only go in somewhere adjacent to roma so my boat dude can go in the water towards carthago or syracuse and i think because there's that in-game condition that's like don't have bricks it's not don't have bricks you just gain uh you gain points for having non-bricks houses, right? Yeah. Bricks are still good to get because you're gonna they're as you see at the cost of all those houses, most of them have bricks in their cost. Interesting. Well then maybe early game it does make sense to go brick heavy. So I'll go that way. In both. <laughs> you are a woman of extremes, here, Rebecca. <laughs> no one's ever told me that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. No Except one. Except for you every Zero, day. Zero, which so is also an extreme. <laughs> select cities in which you want to build. Okay, but let me just make sure. Yeah, I've got enough money and what do we call these? Wheats? Food. Uh, Yeah, food. Mm -hmm. They're a carb-heavy society, but it is Italia, <laughs> so that makes sense. Wheat pastas. Uh, select which cities you want to build. Carthago. Confirm. And then Aquivella. Ah, yeah. I don't oh, you're building it. in two. Doesn't it allow me to build in as many as I want? Yeah, you should be able to build them in both. Don't confirm. Oh, hey, back. Hit back real quick. I see. And this one. Here's yes, where you I go. click. Yeah. Once you've selected all the cities you want to build in, then you click. So make sure they're both highlighted. I see. Got it. Did they both build? Yeah. We got it. We got it now. Under control. <laughs> okay. Woo! Oh, yes, and I see a nice little replay here on my screen. Cool. Jake, oh, it's man. Your turn. When we Look get a you. budget, we're going to do what Fraggle Grag wants extreme points. End each turn with the sweet BMX flip. All right, let's go out to the driveway, everybody. <laughs> IRL uh, cam. I, I want to highlight a card to you, Becca, while we're just thinking about your strategy now, because you went hard brick, which is great. If you go up to the cards that are under the card display up in the top, right, you'll see that Mason is up there. 
that's a cool card that'll give you points in the end game for every brick that you have. Also, it's an action card that just produces bricks in all of your uh, houses that have them. I would have thought of that myself. <laughs> no, just kidding. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, here's the thing. And now like, on my turn, I'm going to take the mason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if, yeah, it's expensive now to take it, but I think that's a wise choice for you. Um, here's the thing, though. Like, I think going architect first was good. Again, I've never played through a full one of these. Uh, so I will also probably do it. Um, but there's an option for me to diplomat and not use my architect now and instead see if I can copy yours. So I'm going to try that save my architect cool while you're doing that i'm going to spend my channel points to predict who wins a theoretical trip to italy <laughs> <laughs> i love you spending your channel points. that's great uh, i'm gonna sail. oh yeah you don't see my actions and you should see a replay of what i did on my turn oh we sure do you diplomated i did this i even announced it diplomacied Okay, are you sure? Because it's too late to take it back, but like... That's true. <laughs> but thank you for asking me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh my god. I'm going to build a bunch of warriors and we're going to crush all the diplomats. Um, Cool, 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 cool. Wait. How'd you get your ship so far? Oh, uh, that's only two moves. So from Roma, you see that left-handed uh, blue Yeah, but line. according to this, you played a diplomat. So oh, diplomat. got it. You borrowed. Yeah, thank you. Right. Diplomat means I copy what you did last. You got it. You copy the top of someone's discard pile. All right. So I've got Senator, purchase two new cards and put them in your hand. I've got one Silk. And if I want to get that Mason thingy, I'm going to need the food is the cost of the card itself, right? That I need to buy the card. And then there's the field. So Correct. I don't have any food, so we need to get some food going. Mm -hmm. Now, Prefect can get you that because if you play it, you'll see the cards that you could gain or the resources you could gain from each province. You could also go Mercator, gain it from by trading. Merc. Uh, there's also one little element of this we forgot, which is I have the, uh, the banner thing right now over my name, which is the one that allows you, I forget what it's called. I'll look it up in a second. It allows you to take double resources from a province. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Which one uh, is that? Perfectus Magnus. It's that purple. Oh, right. Because I'm first right. player. You get to be the Mr. Perfect. Now, yeah, Mr. Perfect. Yeah, that'll, uh, <laughs> after I use it, it gets me a bonus resource and then I pass it to Becca automatically. Okay. So I'm playing my Prefect just to figure out what it does. And I'm in Italia. So, ooh. And you can oh. take anywhere if you want, but you'll see that because you've built an Italia, you'll also get that bonus brick. Okay, so um, I'm thinking about Mauritania because it's uh, because you're not in there. Yeah, Mauritania. Yeah, because uh, Jake, you're not going. You're not technically considered an Italia, or you are. I have built nothing in Italia, actually. No, Got so I would gain it. nothing if you if you flip that. All right, so we're going to go with Mavritania. Maybe a huge tactical error on my part. It is selected. Uh, Probably confirm, then. And then... <gasps> I've got stuff! <laughs> you always sound so surprised. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, Mavritania, great. Um, so now it's my turn to, uh, I can't architect because I don't really have the money to build anywhere or nor the resources. So do I prefect as well? I think I do. In these early turns, we kind of have to do similar things. I think I'll go to, uh, I got a plan. Galia? 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 Look, yeah, a lot are, of these right? V's look like U's. I mean, it's also, am I saying it like old Italian or is it Latin? Or am I just speaking in English with a bad accent? Or what am I doing? You have to do Italian accent. <laughs> oh, no, wait, that's Russian. That's an Italian Russian, yeah. <laughs> All of my accents include Russian. <laughs> we uh, we run this pizza place in Moscow, huh? 
They're you'll, all, you'll like it. They're multicultural. Okay, so I have a plan. <laughs> I am going to Senator. Ooh. I would like yeah, you that want fancy that one you told me about. Yeah, you want that Mason. Because I can afford it. And then also an architect card, because I get two. That's a great that's and a great free, grab. Is to and get a I have architect. the iron and anvil. And you see the you see the gods that they're worth on those cards too, which is nice. So Jupiter, let me check this out real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we gotta click on the question mark and go to the rule book. Okay, victory point for each of your houses in a city that does not produce bricks. So that's something I'm going for. And then what's the other one? Uh, the other one is Mason. Oh, right. That just cares about bricks. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's Minerva, which, yeah, but that's me. So you'll be, just essentially go get all of your houses built, and you're going to get a bunch of points from both those cards. Yeah. Um, and the architect is helpful for me not having to refresh my hand and getting another a chance to place yeah. some colonists. Making sure that you do have enough resources to build when you activate it, too. That's kind of the balance of this game is like, do I have enough to take the architect action and build more? Hey, question. How do I add more um, colonizer, goddamn colonizers to the board? There's two ways. Uh, the Tribune card allows us to do it automatically if we pay one food and one tools when we use it. Additionally, the colonizer card, I think is, oh, colonist. If you scroll way on the right, it's the rightmost card in the card display currently. And it actually is the same mechanic where you can deploy another colonist onto the board with by spending a food and a tools. Okay, so I gotta get me some food and tools. Food and tools are key. Oh, wait, so you didn't do it? Oh, you tribuned already? No. I senatored. I got oh, two senatored. cards. Oh, okay, it just didn't refresh. I see. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was a great choice. Um, a little jealous of you, honestly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so now I need to probably Mercator to gain some money if I want to build again. Mercator is never not funny. Mercator is never not funny. Uh, do we want to go for wine? I think we sell some. Wine. Oh, you gave me the special double situation. Yes, I've used it now. So <gasps> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just figuring out where I could probably build, and I'm not liking my options. Iron, yeah, all right. So we're gonna buy some wine. Or we're gonna sell some wine. We're gonna buy some iron. Oh, goodness me. Jake, theoretically, you're winning the trip to Italy right now. Theoretically on points? Why? We're 17-17, aren't we? Oh, you mean on the bets? I'm looking at chat where important uh, stuff best. happens, Jake. Well, it's not that I'm winning. It's just that uh, they think I'm going to win. No, it's completely unrelated to that. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about who would get a theoretical trip to Italy. Oh, that's the bet? <laughs> I didn't even understand that. Well, it's complicated, so. <laughs> oh, wow. You traded? I traded. I don't know if it was worth it though, because I probably will run out of resources to go grab other things, but we'll see. Okay, so you get three straight up coins. So if I'm starting with three, I would get six coins total. And then I can use those six coins to get. Now, let me explain to you the trade. The two, the two types of goods is very specific. You can choose two goods and either buy them or sell them each, right? You could sell a bunch of wine and buy a bunch of food, but you can only choose two and you can only buy or sell them. You could buy both too, or sell both. But you can't like buy an iron, sell a wine, sell a food. 
That would be insane. Who would do that? That would be insane. All right. Well, if I'm Mason, I will produce brick in all my brick. And my brick would be Aquavelia and Carthago. So that actually feels like a decent move. I would have four brick total. Then I could go sell them and sell my wine. But then I couldn't also buy things because the stupid rule of two. Produce in an active province, gain a good from a bonus. Maybe I just produce. I've got five open slots. Yeah, I think that's probably a safe choice. You already have brick, and brick's the foundations for building all this stuff, so. Pun intended. Prefect, baby! We're gonna do it in Italia. And, uh... <laughs> there we go. What? Where are you laughing? Chat? Oh, uh. yeah, chat. Uh, actually, there was a mention of the Star Trek The Next Generation podcast, which I believe it's announced today on our social media, but I'll, I'll just say it now, where uh, new episodes start next week, a week from today. Oh, <gasps> wait, last night. what is this podcast? Tell it's me to, more. It's called To Boldly Watch. To where Becca, Boldly Watch? Myself and Xander Genre sit down and discuss one of our favorite shows of all time, Star Trek The Next Generation. Heard of it. Yeah. Oh, and you got to hear about this podcast. We are currently just starting season four, and it's getting real good. The episodes have been solid. Cool. Of you our sold podcast me. and the show. <laughs> yeah. Good riffing. Thank you. Thank you for the support there. Back to game. Becca subscribes. I do. I do subscribe. Well, I don't like listen to the podcast, but I am there when it's recorded. So <laughs> getting a cloth to sell is a nice money generator. Ooh, don't look at that, Jake. That's advice for me. Okay. I will ignore what you just said out loud. Um, <laughs> let's go architect. That's all I'm asking. It's not too now. much. And let's build some more stuff. You got money for that? I barely do. I'm building in a cheap city. Now, I'm actually going to build in the same city that you did, which is going to cost me a little bit more, actually. Okay. Um, every every house in a city increases that city's cost uh, exponentially. Or not exponentially. It doubles it, essentially. <laughs> As you'll see, I went nearby and got some brick and iron. Heck, so, yeah. Uh, okay. Trading houses for it. I'm thinking about maybe... If I wanted to march to a new place, two coins. Uh, I don't have any food, so. You're lousy on brick. You have two, you have an architect again, too. I'm lousing with it. Guess you don't have much money, though, huh? Yeah, it's always a problem. I'm thinking it's marketer time. Sell off the wine? Yeah, because what I want to do is have food and I, just food basically <laughs> <laughs> i could sell all these yeah. bricks in this wine get a bunch of money and food um because my plan is if i do that then i'll be ready to tribune uh, or potentially architect okay if i were to architect okay. it's kind of hard to see on this map how far away things are so you went uh, where you I could play to the architect One. card. You could play it and then undo it. It'll show you the numbers. Oh, okay. I think that. I think so I've got two way. people. So this guy could go. If you click the person, it should show you their distances. So yeah, you can start to kind of plan. All right, well, I'd be adjacent to these spaces. Now, notably, you can't take up a same road that I'm one of my colonists is on. Mm -hmm. Did you, you told me? Did you read the board game rules for this? You didn't like read the digital version. Yeah, that's impressive. That's... Did I could read? Not that you. <laughs> no, not that you could read. 
Okay. That you learned them through that way because that's like a, usually the, learning the actual board game is a slightly longer process, whereas the game in like a digital version always sets it up for you and then points to things that are already placed there for you and gives you examples. Okay, but I couldn't do that in bed. <laughs> that is true. I concede that point. All right. I am one coin away from being able to go where I want to go and do what I want to do. So we're just going to... What was your last card? Uh, diplomat or uh, architect. <laughs> you don't want to copy that. No. No, I don't. All right, so we'll go. Mercator. I need yeah, I money. Think Mercator's a smart move because it'll get you money. Selling the wine will get you money. Maybe save a get a food for that colonist that you'll want to trigger on the Tribune too. That's what I always forget. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. We need food. And then we're going to. Sell bricks. I'm already regretting my choices. Are you selling bricks? And wine? Gonna need those bricks to build. You don't know me. I, I'm pretty familiar with you. I'm unexpected. Yeah, that is also true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware of that fact. Okay, good. <laughs> That's settled then. I don't know. We did some stuff. All right. I'm actually I... going to have a quick turn too. Um... <laughs> quick. Oh, <laughs> you're going to do your turn quickly. I see. Uh, I sold yeah. two brick and I bought two food. Regretting it already. How do I do this? Oh, right. I'll get another card. Okay, cool. I'm going to prefect. I'm going to uh, activate Britannia for only two wine. Yeah, feel good about that now. Okay. I've always found learning the rules easier by watching playthroughs than by reading, says Agents Fire. Well, you're at the right place, <laughs> my Because that's what we do all the time. Here! The Becca is a very good Jake lie detector. This is also true. I played a game. <laughs> I played a game with uh, my Woodland War Machine co-hosts, and Sam uh, directly called out my deception three times in a row in the same turn. <laughs> And my, my lies God. are becoming more obvious to my friends. Uh-oh. Well, that's unfortunate for you. <laughs> you have no sympathy. I'm just focused. You really are. The silence from you is deafening. Uh, Looking at the points. Uh, oh, ooh, what'd Becca do? I played an architect. Oh, she played an architect and I she bought built a house. in Der That's how we say it here. Whoa, you went far for that. Okay. Well, you know, I wanted no. it. And Good here's enough. the thing. The game end, the trigger is not a thing we discussed either. It's yes. when all of the cards in the card display are bought up or mm -hmm. one of us builds our 15th house. Right now yes. I have three and you have four mm -hmm. and then there's 11 cards left in the display yes uh the uh, amount of houses we can build is 15 you said is that right yeah 15. jake right plays there. senator jake bought card mercator what does that card do again well it, it, the the default one gives us three gold and allows us or three uh what's it called uh, uh sisteri and allows you to trade but if you look at the one that i took you can actually can you see it in my hand i'm not sure you are allowed no to see it. Interesting. Uh, it allows me to take five coins instead. The coins that are in the or the cards that are in the card display are slightly modified in some cases. So this one gives me just a couple extra coins. We're tribuning. Yeah. Oh shoot! I, maybe I should have masoned first. Ooh, you could. You can backtrack if you haven't. Ha ha! It already. We're going back. We're going to mason. It's gonna give you a grip of brick. 
Just two. Oh, look at look at you. Two wheat and two iron when you're gonna Tribune. That's a great I combo. can only do the thing once though. Uh I think Really? I believe oh, I can yes, only it's place the one. colonist card that allows you to do it multiple times. Still, you're prepped. You're good. Did you buy that card? No, I didn't. I bought a different one. So it's still out there. So if I were to take that, it would cost a wheat and whatever. And you bought oh. cards, so let me just diplomat. <laughs> Wait, you masoned already? Wait, you? Oh, you didn't mason. I'm trying everything. We're gonna colonist. So I need uh, a wheat uh... and a something. And a well, random. Then... What does that right. mean? Can I just uh, play whatever? Be, it, yeah, when you when you when you confirm the purchase, it'll ask you what you want to fill it with. Oh my god, should I do it? We'll find out, and maybe you'll win that trip to Italy. <laughs> Thanks, Katie Michaels. Mm, What's no. going through your head? It's, this is a waste for me to use a senator right now. I'm just gonna Mason. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Mason's smart. Your turn. I think that was a good call. Thank you. The Katie Michaels, hello. Oh, she says we're a great combo. I believe her. Well, so I don't know. I think me and Katie Michaels are a better combo personally. <laughs> Thanks, Becca. It's not Do that- Do you want me to swap her out real quick? <laughs> yeah, if you could. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're not you you were joking? Yes, I was joking. I'm not going to do that. Oh. <laughs> Show <Okay>. partner. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you, Jake. It's just you understand. Katie Michaels is a godsend. She's As a, someone who loves Katie Michaels, I fully understand. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. <laughs> you She's can place a colonist in the starting city. Now, hold on. I thought I could also place a colonist in other places where I have a house. I think I was wrong about that. I don't, I, thought, I, I read that too. I thought that, that was too. true. Okay. Why are they lying to us? Um, let's look at the rules. Architect. Uh, no, it's the Tribune. Oh, is it Tribune? All right, do I yeah. want a boat? The boats all go to um, brick towns. Okay, chat, I need to know, a walker or a floater? We're going, we're going Walker unless I, Tribune is only Rome. Colonist card is wherever. <gasps> Whoa, okay. Oh, that's what it is. Tribune is in the starting city. Colonist is wherever. Cool, 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 cool. That makes sense. Well, now everybody gets to move farther in my town. Mm hmm. 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 Intern. Okay, the prefect card is awesome. I want 10 more of those. <laughs> yeah, especially now that it's getting uh, getting some high coin costs there too. So, end game, I need to check this out. I'm wondering if the Minerva cards give you points for how many are left or how many you built on weaver ah for each city producing cloth okay that's pretty right. sweet right right yeah the maneuver cards are just for whatever that card is types so i went ahead and mercatured for my five coins you can see in the log there that i got five instead of three and congratulations some, some cloth and bought some brick and it's around nine 
All right. I it's want silk. <laughs> so I shall have it. Wait, hold on. What was your card? Mercator. Mercator. Oh, and you still got the pre... Uh, I keep wanting to say pre-monoctress. That's not what it's called. The Prefect. <laughs> prefect, prefect Magnus. I'm prefect. Perfectus Magnus. Okay, I'm thinking about selling tools in order to get a silk, but that doesn't actually make sense. We're going to prefect. Oh my god. Yeah, you can just take it with prefect, which is nice. Like, I feel like the, the Mercator is really only beneficial for small transactions. And prefect is just like, get stuff. I'm very happy to be located in Hellas. It is nice here. It is nice here. It is good here. Oh, no. No one paid me to say this. Oh, no, I messed up. Did you mess up? I did. Why? Would, I'll why? I'll show you on my turn how I messed up. Okay. I Interesting. Totally well, I gave the you the thing. the premenstrual syndrome card back. <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> Perfectus Magnus. Oh. But I'm going to call it just passing premenstrual syndrome. <laughs> we're, PM. Uh, the we're afternoon. On, we're, we're on opposite cycles is how it goes. Um, okay. So I bought, huh. with my Mercator, I bought bricks and I meant to buy food so I could play a colonist with this Tribune that I'm about to play. But alas, I foolishly bought brick. And so I will still gain coins, which is nice. But oh no, I'm so sorry. Place, place a colonist. No, that was my, that That's was my misplay. a total bummer. Well, we'll see if I can make up for it. I still got some bricks, so that's good. I got to move my people around. So if I play Architect... Then I'm gonna move this dude over here and we're gonna build on Athene. So I'm gonna spend a brick, a silk, and all my coins. But then my ship, what else can you get? Without coins, we're in trouble. Everybody wants coins. Everybody wants coins. Gosh, this is tough. So no point in moving it if I can't get them coins. I mean, you have five coins, which is enough to build in a small place, but you remember uh, Prefect also allows you to get a grip of coins. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's move my new little boy in Roma. <coughs> Generally speaking, if you collect in a province, Mm-hmm then I'll also get stuff in that province. If you have a building there. But remember, we've we've like ex, we've like exhausted half of these already. So uh, there's a limited amount that are left. But you're right. So I'm gonna just go to a new, new town. New and town. And we're gonna build in Athena and I. <laughs> I'm gonna make a name for myself here. Yeah. Yeah. We built a house, we're happy. I guess I should have got money first, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Um, man, I want to architect now. Nah, oh, I want it now. I want to architect now. Um, but uh, I'm not in good position, and I have no bonus colonists because I foolishly didn't buy wo uh food. So, oof. I think we prefect early, unfortunately. We take Germania to get a bunch of wheat. Ugh. Don't like this choice, but that's the way it goes. Now, wasn't I supposed to get wheat since I'm chilling there? Or because I didn't build there, I don't get it. It's only for uh, places you have houses in. So you don't right. you didn't build in any of those cities. Right. No, I know. It's just on the road. Yeah, no, it's true. And you, if I wanted to prefect with my diplomat, I could sure do that. Holy cow, Agent's Fire, did you just cheer 10,000 bits? Yay! Holy cow, thank you. Aww, Agent's Fire, that's really nice of you. Thank you very much for the bits. Charmer. That's, that's some good bits. Yeah. That'll buy you like six cloth. 
<sighs> That'll get you, yeah, a lot of cloth. That'll give you like most of Germania. Okay, I, I copied your diplomat and I got <gasps> 12 coins. Oh my goodness, Becca. Okay, you've wisely, because she's taken the coins now, she's reset all of the um, provinces that can be reactivated again with the prefect. Now, <laughs> which is a really good move by her too. She did it when she had the Perfectus Magnus, which didn't force it to give it back to me because she didn't gain any of the goods. She just gained money. That was a good combo. <laughs> All right, Pee Wee. Uh, let's see here. I think we go. I think we're gonna we're gonna senator now. Yeah, I want that card. What is we're gonna senator, and we're gonna grab these two amazing cards. No, no. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't. Um. Why would you do that? We ditch a too. I wish there was an easy way to see what my houses produce. Um, ooh. I guess bet there might be. going to province summary. I do see. I, yes, I like that's, yes, that's exactly where it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're a brick town here. <laughs> we're brick town. We're brick people. We're brick people. I think I will prefect. Wow, you have a place that has wine and uh, cloth. Yeah, and I think that I want that now. What is that, Hellas? Oh my gosh, that's I great. want Hellas to produce stuff. Yeah, you're gonna be rich. I am rich, yeah, it's true. I have four silk and they're worth seven each. So now I have a plan. Okay, uh, in turn. My stock is full, so now I need to go build a house. <laughs> um, I am going to, okay, you passed that to me huh boy i really want some brick but you kind of cornered the market on it haven't you <laughs> stop making that noise. i can't <laughs> um <laughs> uh getting it from italia will give you more brick too oh but you're out of resource spots aren't you don't don't <laughs> <laughs> It would try to give me a brick that I can't take. That's true. I get it. Right. This is a, there's, it's a very interesting game. There's a lot I, happening. I've been so fascinated lately with the games that have the simplest moves, but like the most complex potentials. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Like you, just, you just play one card. That's all you do on your turn. Like it's kind of crazy. Considering yeah. how many of these games we have are like, Phase five of your turn. Look, I don't want to make you upset, but I just got 28 coins in a single <laughs> transaction. That's a lot. That's you know. maybe too much. Yeah. Getting drunk with power. Yeah. You could say that. Remember, only coins are only worth one point for every 10. In the old end game. Well, then I'll just have to spend them now, won't I? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how many Minerva cards I have purchased. Oh, you can tell that on the victory point um, stack up on the top left, the olive branch thing. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so I have three Jupiters. I have one Minerva that's all about the brick. And it does all the counting for you, as you can tell, too, which is cool. Okay. Oh, so my starting cards don't have a god associated with them. They do. That's those. The number on the far left is how many of those cards you have. So, like, architect has Jupiter on it, for instance. It's it's the symbol on the bottom. They they foolishly didn't write the word out. They just like it's on the card of the physical game, but I don't know why it's not on here. So you have to kind of figure out which card is which. Okay. Gosh, what do I want to buy? Um. So, next, I'm gonna play architect, and I'm gonna. Ooh, building more. You're doing so good with building. We each got four, but you're going to build again. Everything needs brick. And a lot of things around me like food. So... Um... <laughs> What 
What's going through your head? I'm purchasing three wheat. Uh, agent says, if you're into complicated scoring but simple short games, you might enjoy Cat Lady. I think I own a copy of Cat Lady, as a matter of fact. Uh, I remember I remember liking it. There's a similar one also. I want to say it's by the same company. I want to say that's an AEG game. I can't remember. Um, but Point Salad is also another really great one with like cool complex scoring and simple moves. Also, all Stonemeyer games seem to be insanely simple. I don't know. Have you, you've played Scythe with me. Haven't we played that, Becca? Scythe is, uh, looks a lot crunchier than it is, I guess. Right. It's deceptive. Point Salad is very fun. What's yeah, so funny is that fun. we played that with Rob Davio, who's like <laughs> such a complex board game developer. And we were like, so the game we have for you today, <laughs> I you play love a that. card with a vegetable <laughs> and try and get them in pairs. <laughs> we had Rob in the studio for was that the betrayal talk back the betrayal legacy talk back we did yeah or was that for yeah well we and had him like, there so we also shot gameplay right. or uh, game the game with him and then yeah that was the game of the day was like this simple little card game <laughs> when we could have had like an epic uh adventure with him hey it was an epic adventure yeah it was a good game too i think he won i don't remember i honestly don't either uh, all right, Mercator time, I think, because... Well, so let's see. What did you do on your turn, Becca? You played Mercator. I crushed, oh, you basically. Didn't... Oh, my God. You got 30... Oh, okay, but you bought food, too. That's insane how much I sold have. four silk You're or cloth, rich. and I bought two wheat. <laughs> awesome. Um, In that case... Uh, let's see here. I think we... Mercator as well. Oh no, I'm running out of slots actually if I do this. Hmm. Oh, man, I got to rethink this here for a second. I got to find out what card is related to Jupiter, because that's the one. OK, Architect wants you to build architect. places without brick. Yeah, I think Architect is Jupiter. I want you to expand. OK, well, in this case. Yeah, I think we're going to Architect too, unfortunately. Red Rising, Scythe, Wingspan, Tapestry, Viticulture, all some of my favorite games. Good sources cited there. <laughs> Good MLA format. <laughs> nice footnotes. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, all right, I have completed my turn. I chose to Architect. I don't know if it was a good idea. Okay, uh, let's see. I could Senator and go card shopping. I've got a bunch of stuff. You have but a ton I of think stuff. Architect, I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, okay, so if I wait one turn to Architect, I could Mason first, which is going to give me bricks in all my brick provinces, which hopefully is just two, because that's the spots that I have. Mm -hmm. And then it, I'll go a March in. Let's just see what I could do with Architect currently. Just going to play this out. So you. Could march on over to, honestly, can build there. We've got one brick, one wheat, and coins don't matter. But then, <laughs> I've coins got infinite matter. coins. Um, but yeah, anything on land, unless it's a building that will produce bricks, requires a brick. Mm -hmm. So I think that I do want to mason first. That's it. Wow, lots of brick then. Full house, full brick house. I caught CEO syndrome, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds dangerous. All right, let's... 
Ooh, do we get really ambitious? Let's see if we can pull off something crazy. One, two, three. I don't know that you can. I'm not I'm sure get, exactly what's happening in this game, but I know oh, I'm winning. I love this. You are, are you? Okay, well, not theoretically, like not with <laughs> points. Not, not via points necessarily. Well, yeah. <laughs> not with points. Mercator, you sold two wines and you gained hella coins and then you bought a bunch of wheat. Okay. Yes. I would like to senator someday, but first I got an architect. We're on the march. I'm going to move one person from Hellas over to Byzantium. One person in Germania is going to go to... We're going to towards Gallia. And then this boat. Hey, boat. Hey, boat. Hey, boat. Hey, boat. Oh, wow. Hispania decisions. seems nice. Mm-hmm. They got nice uh, hills. Hispania. We're going to build in Colonia, Byzantium, and Leptis Magna. Oh my goodness. You're building in three places? I am. What? That's a good play. I know. I know. Holy cow. I know. I have built seven out of 15 buildings. Oh, no. Houses. Good job. Thank 53, you. 53, taking the lead. Okay, okay. But wow, now I'm nice. out of things. I would really like to senator, but I just don't have any resources right now yeah it's a delicate balance this game yeah so i can't senator i have to tribune really uh, oh yeah those are my only options yeah well that's okay i mean tributing gets all your cards back oh shoot i couldn't afford to place a new colonist yeah, but I, you got an extra city because you used your iron, so yeah, there was that. I, yeah, that that may have been a I, poor choice, but whatever. I don't know if it was. I think it might have been. I think that was probably a good play. Um, we're going to do my power chair in here for a second. Don't. Oh, you're going to love it. No. It'd be good. You're going to support me. You're going to say, Jake, I'm so proud of you. Jake, I'm so proud of you. You've come so far. Uh, let's do another one. Here and another one. Bingo. No. You're gonna, you're gonna like this turn. What did you do? I played the colonist card and I put three colonists on my board. Three colonists. On yeah, the board. saved that. Saved for all that. Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. You played the you bought the colonist card. You would. You would. <laughs> I need new cards. All right. I need to know what is currently earning me the most victory points. And right now that's Jupiter. So we need a new Jupiter card. That's the architect, I believe. Okay, so I need uh, um, tools. And then a random item. So, in order to get tools, we have to prefect. Did you just prefect or anything? No, I, uh... Colonist. Smithed. Or, I mean, yeah, colonist. Oh my gosh. That would be a really cool thing to Adios, diplomat. Mike, yeah. yeah. Adios, Kitty yeah. Michaels! I've got a prefect and I need tools, baby. <laughs> um, what's the second thing I'll get? I've got Thanks, a wheat Griffin. 
If I had one brick, <gasps> I could potentially, Saturnus, what do you do? One for each of your houses. So many options. Yeah, that's my second most is Saturnus, so that makes sense to double that. So Saturnus, so I need two iron and two of anything. I mean, the reason you're getting so much from Jupiter, though, Becca, is because you have three architects, don't you? Do you have three architect cards? That's cra Oh, three Jupiter cards. That's still crazy. That's a lot. I don't think it matters what I get. Still impressive. You can just buy them, too. You're pretty rich, uh, Gusarino points out. Just yeah, buy what? She's got 30 something. Uh, if you need resources, you can market her and buy them. Oh. But Prefect also just gets you them for free. It just, you have to kind of choose what's available. Okay. Got it. True. Understood. <sighs> that was a lot. <laughs> you did it, Becca. Uh, you made it. Thank you. What are you, what are you doing? Well, I think I'm going to prefect as well because you didn't do anything I need to diplomat. I'm trying to decide if I should get expensive things like cloth and plan to sell them or if I should get some food. I think food's the right answer because you're going to start building in cities again and I really need to. Food's delicious. You. Food is delicious. So there's that. It's mm -hmm. a fair point. Thank you. Just need to make sure I can afford it all. Gosh, when you can't buy your bundle of wheat, what is the world coming to? You know? Yeah, I, I get it. I, I feel your pain. Thanks. Whew. This music is pretty nice. <laughs> is that the in-game music, or are you listen to a mix? Oh no, the in-game music. Yeah, the in-game music's solid in this. Also, this is a game, I think it's advertised as a non-combative or non-violent game of <laughs> ancient empire building. I mean, that's not my interpretation of, uh, of it's the what, worker placement? Yeah, yeah well, again, yeah, yeah. There are actually colonizers in here. So like, yeah, do with that what you will. All right. I see, I see it as pretty We're not violent. fighting each other. That's true. Yeah. Uh, this game also has an asynchronous mode, which I highly recommend for those of you that uh, haven't- Are into uh, that kind of thing? Picked it up yet. Yeah, it's great. You can play and uh, you'll get notifications that your turn is ready. Where, where do you get notifications, though? Uh, there's actually a chat part. I don't think you can. There might be a mobile or email set up. I'm not aware of them if there is. But if you if you enter the game, there's like a little chat. You can see all the rooms you're like. I have an async game right now that I got a notification during this game that it's my turn. Awkward. Awkward. I won't go do it. Don't worry. Does this app have Sorry, it was my turn, but I was um, resizing OPS. OK, no I'm going to be a senator. Gusarino asked if this app has other maps. It does. It has the Italian map, which is like a zoomed in Italia and provinces within there. And then there are a bunch of DLC maps that haven't been released yet. I think they'll be coming in the next few months. Uh, this is available on Steam, and I think it's available on mobile. I don't know how much higher I could have made that question in terms of my pitch. I think it's available. I think it's, available. Uh, it's definitely available on Steam. Mm -mm. You're mercatoring or senatoring? Oh, senator. She got an architect and a diplomat. Oh, my goodness. Another architect? That's four architects. Well, that's, it's not the card I want. Architects. It's the points. The points. Okay, great. Um, In that case, let's see. Are you going to be able to? You're not going to architect next turn, are you? Damn it. Then I need a Tribune now. 
I'm tributing early and I hate it, but that's okay. How many cards did you have? Um, I had two left in my hand still. The reason I'm tributing early is because I want to architect and I was hoping to diplomat your architect, but you're not gonna play one anytime soon. So <laughs> I gotta get going, which is a bummer, but we'll build our last colonist, which is good. Kind of jealous you got so many architects. There's none left for me now. I have to like piggyback on yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. I really did want that colonist. Two silk and a wheat to get it. Uh, what would you say if you had to guess what god is a colonist associated with? <laughs> the god of war, Mars? That makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Um, that's so expensive. Also, I'm not going to go for it, so. What is expense? You know? <laughs> a viable resource in this game of victory points. Hmm. <laughs> Never convinced. If you get the console first, the Colonus is very affordable. Oh, so uh, the console is a card that we haven't seen yet. I don't know if you see it on there in the card display. Yeah, no, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Purchase one new personality card without... Yeah, but I, I couldn't... I want to buy them both at the same time. <laughs> That's the problem, yeah. And they're also so far up the track, they're going to cost you silk to even get the first one. So I think you're kind of out of luck on that. Also, that's like the last card of the game. So will you even be able to play it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you might. You might get one turn out of it. Okay. Maybe. I'm just saying, Fatal Pierce, they're, we're not fighting each other. There's not armies and we're like not ambushing each other. <laughs> I need three bricks and. You got a mason for that. Do. Um. Bricks, what a close game. wheat, and iron would all be nice. I think. But I'll, I'll be nice. I'll be kind. Would all they, they? That would all be nice. I'm gonna do a mercator. I'm going to sell some wine, and then I'm gonna buy a bunch of wheat. Oh, a bunch of wheat. What? Why? I don't know. Okay. Okay, hold on. Actually, I don't want to sell. I'm just buying wheat. <laughs> and bricks. You're not going to architect, I guess. Fine, no. Becca. No, I'm not. Not doing that. Mm-mm. Um, well, I don't want to architect because it's my only one, but maybe I need to. Then I have to time it when you're ready. And I guess you don't have much yet. Three bricks. Oh, yeah, you could do it. You might do it next turn. Um, do I prefect? I think I do. Sadly. Not a choice I love. I mean, I don't need it. Does this app have other maps too? It has an Italy map. Did you choose maps when you were setting up? I did. This is the standard map. Um, Muy interesante. Yeah. Uh, there are additional maps that'll come out in DLC in the coming months as well. There's like four expansions for this game, which they're going to start including as well. Very fun. Very fun. I like expansions for games that is good. Okay. So you just did what? I did the smith you smithied for three iron. So you're just waiting for me to architect, huh? <laughs> I mean, I definitely, for the sake of the audience, spoke aloud my strategy. And yes, yes, I, I am waiting for you. It didn't that. stop me. I do what I do. Yeah. 
Okay, I've got three soldiers on the board. Goddamn colonizers. <laughs> as some say. And I've just got... Ooh. One of the expansions has a team mode. La Nocta Tempesto says. Oh, a team mode. That'd be fun. I like that. Were there Steam codes for this? Did that get advertised? Because yes, I believe there were. I don't know if we made a process for giving them out. <laughs> oh, I know nothing about this. Oh no, what have we done? False advertising? No, we had talked about it and then it happened this morning and then I uh, Big promptly day. forgot. Promptly forgot. We'll be doing <laughs> a hashtag giveaway for some Steam codes for the courtesy uh, for the game courtesy of Akram Digital who gave us codes. That's well, so that's true. nice. Yeah. I guess we got to figure that out. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, the answer is yes, Nightcat. <laughs> Took us a long way to get there, but yes. What are you thinking, Becca? Okay, I have uh, moved three people. We're gonna claim three cities again and party on. Oh, she did it. She architected three cities again? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 76 points. Okay. Well, we're gonna diplomat and copy you. I'm only gonna do two cities, but I'm still, I'm proud of the cities I'm, or I'm proud of the houses I'm building. Gosh, now, you got that Smith card, huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's what I want right now. Yeah, it's really great. Now I have um, colonists in multiple cities and I have a ton of moves because I have all of my colonists out on the board. So let's go here. Oh my gosh, I finally spent all my coins. Congratulations. You did it. I'm down to nine. <laughs> uh, moving all my fellas around uh, the world here. Fellas around the world. <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> all my fellas who independent. All right. So then we're going to build in two cities. Not as impressive, but we're still proud of ourselves. Becca's two ahead of us, but now the score is even! 76-76. Oh, I don't like that. Well. And you you diplomated? Can't diplomat a diplomat. Copy, yes. Interesting. So I could mason to get some bricks. I could prefect. If I prefect, I could um, get three silks and one wine, and then I can just sell those for a bunch of cash again. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, well, never mind. I've already done that. How much is a... Go on. How much is a, a wine worth? Seven six. points for cloth and six for wine? Okay. No, not points. Uh, coins. Coins, coins, coins. Yeah, coins, yeah, coins. yeah, yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. And tools are worth five or four? Uh, five. Damn. Food is worth four, brick is worth three. Okay.
I've got a lot of strategies all going on in my head simultaneously. But what I, know, I did, I can, hear, I can hear them rattling around. Uh, so. oof, yeah, they're <laughs> screaming at one another. It's kind of, <laughs> it's a lot. Um. Okay. So, boy, that's a good play. You just prefect it, huh? Yeah, I just got a bunch of wine casks. Right. I would like to make sure that when I tribune, I have the right stuff in order to place a new colonist. Right, right. But um. I think before that, oh shoot, I did a bad turn. I was thinking about buying cards, but I don't actually have... The stuff to do it? Oh man, I did a real bad. I thought well, that it's... I still could do a senator. You played <laughs> a prefect. Okay, so we're gonna diplomat. You're gonna diplomat me? Me? Yeah. Ooh. Love this move. I had to. No, it's smart. Are you out of prefects? You are. What did you take? You took three iron? Dang. That's a lot of iron. I oh, know. yeah. You're going to try and get all those colonists in one go. That's a cool play. I can't. Um, I don't have your special card. Oh, right. Well, do, are you going to try and buy it? I guess you could try. It's got silks, though. I don't think you can afford it. Harsh. Alas. Alas. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I also wanted to buy cards from the sender, but I can't afford them either. Because <laughs> they happen to have the things I don't have. Mostly wine and such. My heart so is pounding. I think we... Oh, so I'm not getting any points for the Mercator, am I? Oh, no, I am. All right. So I think we go... Honestly, I have to Prefect again? Ugh. Really? Don't love this option. Oh, all the good ones are taken too. Becca? No, we're gonna Mercator. That's the better play. All right, I need to go AFK for 30 seconds, Becca. I'll be right back while you take your turn. I just mercatured for selling some iron and gaining some brick. I see. <laughs> be right back. Okay, um, oh, what is he gonna do? Okay, I could get a bunch of brick. That's not helpful. There's no room in my stash. I could diplomat and copy his thing to buy and sell, but because you can only buy and sell two resources, I could sell three wine and get three silks, but... Or brick. Holy crap. Okay, so I've got a boat over here, and this boat needs a brick and a wheat and four coin. Yeah, I think I do the same thing he did. <laughs> because then my when I cash in my cards, they'll be better. Okay. I'm going to sell these wine casks for 18 coins and then I'm going to buy bricks for 9 coins. Cuz I'm a copycat. You copy? <gasps> Hello? Oh no, you copied me again! Yeah. You diplomat, holy cow, look at that. 18 bot brick, you did the same thing. Yeah, right. I did. Well, you can't copy me forever. Um. Now we try and take a card? We have no wine still. If I take colonists, I'll destroy you. Do you want the colonist card? Is that what you're aiming for? You don't even have the silk to take it. You would destroy me? 
I meant, I think you, because you wanted it, right? I didn't want to like crush your- uh, My hopes and dreams? Desires, yeah. I mean, I got a diff, diff strat. Great. How are we I both think. at 80 points? I feel like I've been really maximalizing. <laughs> so I don't think you can see my score summary, but I'll tell you what I have. Um, I have a lot of points from Mars, which is uh, the Tribune card and the Colonist card. They give you uh, points for every Colonist you have on the board, which I got six of them. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. I see. I guess technically eight if you count the first two. Or, yeah, six. The six is max. Two. Right. I see, and you just bought silk. Mm hmm Look, I can't tell you to take a dive. I'm not I'm not gonna, I, I won't let you. How it's many fine. points you got in that category? I don't, uh, 24. And if I take another card, it'll give me, I think, 36. That's what I'm kind of gunning for here. Just trying to do the math of what the best card is. Yeah, I think I will take it. Oh, it's so expensive, though. You could end the game too early by building all these great buildings, too. Decisions, decisions. Okay, let's uh, let's make a choice. We're, we are going to Senator. We're going to grab the handsome colonist and the... Guess we just get one. That's kind of crazy. Let's do it. Let's just get one. Done. Bricks look like a carrot cake sometimes. Interesting, Night Cat. I agree. I also think wine looks like carrots. So <laughs> it's just a carrot fest. Get okay. You boys in your carrot fest. Get out of town. I think I'm about to crush everyone. Um. My heart is pounding. Are you nervous or because you're excited or because- Yes, caffeine? To all of the above. Uh, you also may have gotten an SMS request for a authenticator code from Twitch. That's from me. Okay. Just, you want to know it now? I don't want you to say it on the stream, but I'm super curious. I'll put it in chat. <laughs> You're super curious. Oh, gosh. Which chat? Oh, God. Zoom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know what you mean. Okay. I am um, doing an architect. Mm -hmm. Go on. Now, even if I didn't move my feet, I can still build, right? Uh, yeah, you can always just build in the place you're adjacent, uh, your colonists are adjacent to. Cool. We're gonna get build an Olsapio, Olsapo, Lavetia, Lavetia, and Atalia. Then that will still leave us enough to get a new colonist. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, I feel good about that. Ooh, wow. Okay. Um, look at all these buildings she has. 92 points, Becca! <laughs> I know. Oh man, you're gonna end this. But you have 90, oh my God. No, I'm right behind you. <sighs> That's why my heart is pounding. <laughs> 
I want one more iron town. Let's see, can I get one there? Yes, I can. So did you architect? You did. I'm out of diplomat, so I have to use my architect card. We're going all the way over here. We got the money for it. Do this. Build here, we build here. All right. <laughs> Red wine is greater than bricks is greater than white wine. I agree, I Pantaloni. It's my turn. I'm in a Tribune. Does anybody care about our towns with bricks? Oh, I have Minerva. She's interested in such things. We're going land. Uh, I was gonna say, what's going on? What's going on over there? Land or sea? Land or sea was my choice. Okay, we we got sea. It is confirmed. Ooh. Okay, just a small little move there. All right, I see that. Um, now I have only bricks left. Ugh. And all the good stuff is taken. Okay, so I guess we go with. The prefect? Hmm. Yeah. We gain a stupid amount of silk? Is that the only real thing to do? Going to Silk Town, eh? Going to Silk Town. I'm kind of lost at what to do at this point because we're so close to the end game. I don't know how much to consolidate my points. I want to be able to build more. I only have 10. You have 13. I guess I could try and buy more cards. Your turn. Uh-huh. I want some more cards. Those cards are hard to get. In order to get them, I need some prefects to give me a bunch of stuff. But in order to get those prefects, I need to flip the cities back over. <sighs> oh man, building in one province is so much smarter than spreading out. Okay. <laughs> well, kind of, because uh, Saturnus or one of them gives you uh, points for every different province you're in. So you're right, convoying them is good for flipping the prefect card. Look, this may be the worst decision ever. We're doing it. I don't think it's the worst. Wait what? a minute, I only got 33 coins? That feels low. What do you need all those coins for? I don't. <laughs> Take it back if you don't want to. Uh, it's up to you, but you were going to flip that. Oh, you're flipping the prefect is what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you could take the coins, but it's only three points, it's better to try and get resources and get more cards because cards are worth points, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think. I mean, that's that's what I think it is. Again, kind of telling here. She copied me. She took that. Okay. I got silk. You got two silk. Okay. Cloth. We'll never, it's too late. It's too late I now. No, I, I call it silk, that's fine. Yeah, see, but I wasted my senator on just a, a one, which is a real sad choice. Now you only get special in-game points for Minerva for your production on the right side, not what that region produces. Just your specific areas of that region, right? I'm not explaining this well. But no, like, what? on, okay, you know how you get to see your active and inactive provinces for prefecting? Yes. For Minerva, the card that's like, 
For every brick, you get three points. That's only for the stuff that's got a symbol on the right column, not on the left column, right? Correct, because that's yours. Yeah, okay, The just right kidding. column is yours. Yeah. I know what's happening. Yeah. I'm yeah, you completely got aware. You're, you're super aware. Um, I'm going to do the same thing as you, but I'm going to gain two wine. Like, we're both creeping up in points now. You played a second prefect card. Mm-hmm. Indeed, I did. Ugh, all right. What if you take the things I want? Ugh. I'm really risking it all here. Yeah, it's done. Okay. I prefect it. <laughs> it's a lot of that happening. I am You're five really points ahead. tempted to Tribune early. And I think I'm going to, because I have nothing else to do, and I can't colonize. Uh, I could just gain money, which doesn't seem like a good use of it. I guess I will do that once. Doesn't seem like a good use of the money, though. It's a whole victory point. Let's Tribune now. <sighs> just that easy. We're back in the game. I'm stressed. That's it? Woo, that's it. I got two turns lined up here. Uh-oh. That means the last turns, probably. Okay, I'm going to... No, it's not. I'm going to okay. Mason. <laughs> and... That's it. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. I'm just trying to make my breath match my heartbeat. Okay, that's that's a disturbing heartbeat. We need to get you to a cardiologist. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> There's so much money up for grab on prefecting. All of the provinces have been flipped. I know. What? Is Somebody happening? kept talking me out of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, blame. I don't even know what to do now. I'm so lost. I mean, I guess I I Mercator to get the wheat so I can build my last two stuff. Still a funny word. Really dislike this choice. All right, buying two of these. Well, if it makes you feel better, if you are upset about it, I, I think that's better for me. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Close game, Becca. Close game. Don't I know it? How does it end? Also, I can run the giveaway if that's helpful. Justin, that actually would be helpful. So let's actually start a test one right now. So for those of you that are in chat and can hear my voice, if you would like to get a copy of Concordia Digital added to your Steam library, we are giving away keys. Um, let's do the key name of Concordia using the word. And when this Justin tells us it's ready, you can type that in chat and you'll be entered. Do not type it in before this Justin says it's ready. If you do, nothing will happen. We will smile politely. Good restraint, chat. Good restraint. <laughs> You're smiling politely? I am. Okay. Let's see. If I... I definitely want that one. That's 11 points. Thank you for smiling politely, Mr. Stone. For... <sighs> She's trying to maximize her points. What cards I guess I don't have cho a choice here. She I already decided. Okay, there we go. Select one question mark to pay the cost. Uh... Ooh, she's getting more point cards. That's a good move. That's a good move. Uh, 
oh gosh, this is important. Okay, whatever I do here, I then need to build. We got that. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I think I see, I think I see where my end game's going. Don't. Uh, for those of you curious about Concordia 2, I believe it was nominated but didn't win the Jager de Spiel. Jager Spiel? Kenner Spiel? Spiel de Jar. Spiel de Jar. Uh, in 2000, I want to say 16. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, 2000 and... 14. Uh, oh, it lost to Istanbul. Becca, have you played Istanbul? No. Ugh, such a great resource management game. We should definitely have that on. One of these I don't days. know if my heart can take it. Oh, oh no. Okay, yeah. I no, might we, have a heart attack playing. After a after we see a, a series of cardiologists, we will consider playing. <sighs> Gusarino, you know your stuff. <laughs> Get your regular breathing. Regular, uh, normal, super normal breathing. Super, super normal breathing. Um, okay, here we go. Ambitious turn. Do I have the money for it? Seven plus seven. I am one silver short of what I want to do. That's fine. That's the price we pay. Here's a really cool move, though. We're going to build in three cities. 121? What? Yeah, I bought no, some cards. No, I missed that. You quietly took the a significant lead. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. You gosh. bought the console, or you bought the freaking no. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I guess I should use the console card because that's just gonna give me eight points. Okay. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, I guess we just gotta take it, huh? Free stuff. Oh, oh, I don't pay the field sneak. spot, but I do pay the cost on the card. So I can't do it. Concordia. How, how many turns Ooh. you got left? Ooh, Justin did say something, but did he say go? <laughs> so good, Tom fast way to be on top of it. How many turns left? I don't know. The game ends when either, I think the uh, the round will end when either you build your last house or all the cards are gone. I think we each get, you know, the uh, whoever went first gets another turn. Oh, he did it. He did say it. Okay, cool. If you want, here it is. It's his last chance. So it was our first chance. Yeah, if you would like, a digital copy of this game on Steam. Type Concordia in chat now. I think it'll work. <laughs> Should I just get five wheat? Five what wheat? What am I gonna do with them? You don't need five wheat. <sighs> oh, you did say go. I totally missed it, Justin. I'm glad you said go. Oh, look at all these Concordias. They just happened so fast and we were so in our turn. Great. So excited. Oh, okay. What's she doing? What's she doing? Architect. No, not architect. Crap. One week spoken for. And then for my final act. Just gotta go for a brick town. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to figure out if there's anywhere I'm not in. Dacia! Germ uh, Egyptus, where are you? Way down there. Ugh. Man. Okay. That's my two wheat, and that's all I'll be able to do. Kamalisk has won the giveaway! Kamalisk, congratulations! Congratulations, friend. Uh, send a direct message to... Send pics! <laughs> do not send pics! Send pics! <laughs> do not send pics! I'm sweating a lot. I triggered the end game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, and I get seven extra victory points for doing that. Sorry, Kamalisk, I'm stealing your sunshine here. <laughs> yeah, fix up Concordia, better choice. I'm oh my gosh, patterns. no! <laughs> Bega triggered the end game by building the 15th and receiving a Concordia card, which is worth seven points. We forgot to mention that. I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, I've breathe. Been away. Uh, you gained seven points for doing that. That's amazing. So I have one turn left, unfortunately. And I think I'm gonna send it there because that's really the only viable thing oh my to God, do. Don't. Um, unfortunately, I can't gain that grade of cards because I had lack of brick, but we'll take this one and hope for the best. Ugh, good game, Becca. All of your, okay, so the game is over. All of your storehouse goods will be sold, and at the end of the game, Vesta will grant one victory point for every 10. So I sold for 12 and you sold for five. Do you see that message? I do. All right. And then you should have a point score for your personal points and then my points. And I think you got me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Becca. Well managed. It was so stressful. I know, you are really having a tough time today. <laughs> For well, those of you that just th that want to buy Concordia, it's not as stressful as she's making it look. It's actually quite fun. Honestly, if it's not stressful, why play it, huh? <laughs> I you mean, know? look at your posture right now. You're like... Uh, <laughs> that's just because I'm trying to fit my camera frame. <laughs> uh, very good game. Uh, before we go today, uh, let's actually give one more giveaway. So, uh, Justin, if you can reset the giveaway and do it again, we have another game to give out, and I'd love to do that one more time. Shout out uh, to this just tin for crushing it on the giving things away front. And all of our mods who've been helping out today. Thank you so much. Um, this is Good Time Society. It's Becca and myself and all of our friends. And we play board games and make nerd content. And we have a great time. So thank you for being here today. Uh, we if have you'd a like great to... time. Yeah, we do. We if do. You'd like to... <laughs> If you'd like to see more of us, you can find us on our YouTube channel, and you can actually see Becca kicking ass as a keeper tonight on The Calyx, which is on Becca's channel, The Becca Scott. Fun fact, I'm gonna hyperventilate and sweat even more in preparing for that. Oh my gosh, you had such a good time last week. You wanna tell people what happened last week so they can get hyped for tonight's episode? Yes, well, our players are incredible. They're bringing back their characters. Um, we're calling this group the Sorority of the Unordinary. And it's <laughs> we're, we're it's jumping into a huge pre-written scenario called Mass of Nyarlathotep, but we're just going one chapter at a time, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary folks. And um, chapter one, we've already done chapter zero, which took place in Peru. Chapter one takes place in Harlem, in New York City, in the United States. And, uh, oh gosh, last week, uh, our three investigators were called to New York to meet their friend, Jackson Elias. And Jackson had some information on a missing expedition in Egypt. And Jackson Elias was murdered viciously in his hotel room. Highly recommend checking out the feels that happened in Ooh. his death scene uh, as the um, uh, Paula Deming's player character, or um, yeah, player character, Peterson is a doctor and, and brought him back to life just so he could say a few final <laughs> words. And then she, she they blame Whoa. themselves. They blame themselves because they couldn't get his intestines back in his body and, <laughs> and pumping properly. Um, as, the, as a keeper, were you expecting that? I am always 
my expectations uh, are are nil. Like I cannot never have met. expectations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I try to prepare <laughs> what's written and then let players do what they want. But these players in particular care very deeply about their player characters. And <laughs> unlike other games of Cthulhu, I'm I'm not. It seems like I'm not allowed to kill them. Like, they would not allow me to kill them. They'd be like, Becca, retcon that. Becca, re-roll, bonus oh, die, no. come on. Oh, no, they're not safe. They're they love safe. their characters so much. <laughs> and so it just, I, like, I do feel necessarily like I do need to try harder to kill them because they will not put their characters in harm's way of their own volition. Anyway, this was a lot of information at the end of Concordia. <laughs> you asked. Well, I did, but you're not going to necessarily kill them, but you will put them in danger, which means maybe... So yeah, we'll they will yeah. not willingly put themselves in danger, though. Uh, check out episode two. That's on the Becca Scott's Twitch channel tonight. It'll be up on YouTube throughout the week as well. And that's at five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Uh, there is a, another drawing going on right now. Is the word Calyx? Did we change it to Calyx? Or is that just getting hyped up? That's, Either way. I think that's the giveaway word. Otherwise, why would everyone <laughs> say the exact same word in chat? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, and we'll be giving away one more copy of Concordia Digital. Uh, for those of you that don't get a copy, it's on Steam right now. It's not that expensive. It's a brand new game. And they do have a number of expansions coming out, uh, I believe, in the next few months. So do go check it out there. Um, anything else we need to plug before we head out today, my friend? Gosh, just, you know friendship and kindness i would like to plug um yeah. uh, appreciation for you for being here is something i would like to plug yeah i appreciate Both everybody jake and viewers yeah yeah <laughs> i knew what you meant uh thank you everyone who makes good time society awesome if you want to come join our little community we have a discord up there's a uh, link in the description and in chat and come join the discussion. We we organize asynchronous games for Concordia, as well as Root, if those of you have heard of it. In fact, Woodland War Machine, our podcast purely dedicated to Root, will be returning next week, as a matter of fact, along with To Boldly Watch. So both our podcasts are coming right back real soon. Hell yeah. Nightcat also mentions we have a Patreon if you want to support us on Patreon too. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time on Two Player Tuesday. We yeah. out. Thanks, friends. Just kidding. Gotcha. We didn't do the giveaway. Who's the giveaway? Give us a giveaway winner. <laughs> giveaway winner. We Who's it, it going to be? Back. We're back. We're back. Quick. Quick. Justin. A. Pantalonius won the giveaway. Oh, no. There a. we go. <laughs> okay, hey. well, he can give it to a friend. That's he can great. give it to a friend. All right. We did Take it. care, okay. everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Really this time. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>